to capture Roxy. Jesus Christ, you are something else, bitch. Jesus. Uh, Rudy, can you break out of this shit and uh, break his neck or some shit? I don't know, maybe break a leg before killing him. Well, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. So last time I found out something interesting. Finally understood why some of you are protecting Paul. And yes, I acknowledge that I was too harsh on him. Everyone is a human being after all and everyone makes mistakes. So yeah, he's been kinda redeemed in my eyes. Yeah, some of the things he's done in the past has been, yeah, have been kinda scumbaggish, you know. But still, as a parent, he cares about his children and as a whole, as a person, he cares about his family. So yeah, those are some redeemable qualities, at the very least. And yeah, man, with that being said, this time I'm doing two episodes, since I have four episodes left until I get up to date with this series. So yeah, with those two episodes I might have two more left and I'll be up to date finally. For the final two episodes of the series. Well, of season one actually. And after that we will be probably in the dark for a while until season two. But yeah man, hopefully you guys enjoyed my reactions, if you do smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, join my Discord, it's linked down in the description below, there are also links to my Twitch and to my Twitter. And yeah, let's just jump straight into the reaction video right now. Yeah, it took you like, what, almost two years. I mean... Gishlane, or however the fuck you pronounce her name, is probably the final person you need to worry about. I'm pretty sure she can handle her own fights. So yeah, she's the least probable today. Yeah, now you can't see Roxy. You literally went past each other like what fucking two months ago. Okay, so I was not tripping. I'm pretty sure this is the same horse we made earlier. So yeah, Roxy and him were part of the same party. Yeah, more childish. I mean, considering she's like what now? 50? It was about time she grew up, you know. Then again, actually, she hasn't been in here since like what? Fucking 20 years ago. So, yeah. Yeah. How fun and games until someone stronger teaches you the same shit, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ, what happened to her to be so afraid of the name Dead End? Okay, so maybe if she actually heads back home, her parents will actually tell her that Rudy was together with Rudyard and she will be less afraid. Yep, that's fact. You only have one family. And she actually went back to her village, huh? Mm, no, they probably just don't remember you. 
I mean, your hair kind of gives out that you are part of this village, I'm pretty sure. What's up with those flashes, though? The hell is happening? Oh, they are trying to use telepathy. Right, 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 right. Okay, I'm getting what's happening now. But what's up with her reaction? Like, why is she so afraid of it? Now I'm curious about her backstory. Well, about her childhood, actually. We kind of know her backstory and all. Well, definitely a lot happened. It's been 20 fucking years. About 25 now. Maybe she can't use telepathy? Can you at least tell us why? Like, I'm curious what the hell happened. Jesus, 50 years is a lot though. I mean, not to them probably. I'm not sure how long they live for. I mean, you can't help yourself, it's your fucking child and you haven't seen her in 20 years, so yeah. It's normal to cry. Oh. So yeah, I'm kinda right. Most of them are communicating using telepathy. Nah, for some reason you can't use telepathy. I don't know why though. And maybe this is why she has kind of a trauma from this village. Okay, yeah. That's an explanation. Yeah, but now you're all grown up and you can use uh, fucking king level magic and shit, so... Yeah, come on. Cut them some slack, it's not their fault that this happened. Just stay for a while. It's not like they hate you or anything. You just probably felt like shit. Because they knew your life will be hard because of this. Well, of course, if you stay in the village, that is. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah, this is another thing I'm curious about. Why is she so afraid of them? He turned out to be a good guy. I guess this explains... Yeah, this kind of explains why she taught Rudy to be cautious around him. Because since she's been out of the village for a while, she didn't actually know that he's a good guy. Okay, yeah. Since you know that Rudy is fine and dandy, it's better to look for them. I guess that's that. Let's just jump into episode 19. It's been a year since our last chat. Yeah, so you occasionally show up from time to time. Okay, Aisha. What do you mean by that? Use an al alias to explain her situation. Oh, I think he'll still end up helping you. He'll actually be helpful for a while. Probably. Still, that fucker is mysterious. Also, I don't know why, but for some fucking reason, 
Unless I'm chipping. Why do I feel like Geese has some kind of connection with this gold guy? Since uh, I kind of feel like their voice actor is the same guy. Maybe. I may be mistaken as well. But there's just some sort of a feeling. I kind of feel like they are connected in some way. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's just the voice actor. Maybe they are different voice actors and sound kind of familiar. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe I'm way far off and they have no sort of connections. But again, why would they introduce the geese and put so much attention on him as a character? Because, yeah, overall he didn't do anything to the story other than being kind of a comedic relief for pretty much one episode. So, yeah, we'll see, I guess. But I'm hoping I'm correct and they have some sort of connection. Um, have you actually told anyone about him? I'm pretty sure the only person that can actually help you with this shit right now is Rager. I still can't pronounce his name correctly. Like, is it Rager? I don't know. He is probably the only person that can help you out with this shit. If you tell him. Mainly because of his strength. He probably knows something about this fucker. Then again, he's not all knowing, so I may be mistaken. I don't know. No. It's probably your sister. It feels like she's following you. So, yeah. And it doesn't seem like either Rager or um, Ares. So, yeah. Yeah, it is his sister. Yeah, seeing your dress and shit, it feels like you're soldiers, but uh, what's up with her? Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, now the whole goddamn city will be on his ass, I'm guessing. So, the rooftops, since you're surrounded, the rooftops are the only way to escape now. Also, how the fuck did she know that Trudy can help her? Like, that was a bit weird. Did someone tell her about him? Why can't you count on him, though? Hmm. Ah, Jesus Christ. She is smart as fuck. She is smart as fuck. Jesus Christ, what is happening? This little girl is handing his ass. He was shameless, Jesus. Yes, he still is shameless. A pervert. Yeah, that's what you are, Rudy. But doesn't she realize the resemblance between him and Paolo? Like, considering how she's talking, you know, she should be smart enough to figure that shit out. Wait, how does she know? Okay. So, what are you doing here? Well, not lives, but she used to be in this goddamn castle. Well, duh, he's goddamn talented, of course she will boast about him. But wait, did Roxy actually summon him for you? Or was it just um, that little fuck that she 
teach magic. Cause yeah, maybe he's just jealous of Rudy and heard that he's in the seat somehow. Or maybe Roxy came back, I don't know. Yeah. That's a bit sus. Seven fucking years. Why do I feel like she's not in here at all? Yeah, dolls are acting sus as well. Yeah, that's not Roxy. Yeah, that fucker probably heard that Rudy is in here and got jealous. So he wants to test his abilities. Okay, now it all makes sense. Well, I'll be damned. I'll be fucking damned. But he can get out of there easily. Or maybe not. Well, shit. Now this is a bit awkward. Can he break out of this shit? To capture Roxy? Jesus Christ, you are something else, bitch. Lover? The fuck do you mean lover? Jesus. Uh, Rudy, can you break out of this shit and uh, break his neck or some shit? I don't know, maybe break a leg before killing him. Yeah, Roger, we'll go on a fucking killing spree if you fuckers try to do something to her. Nah, he didn't. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you kidding me? Ain't no way this is the goddamn ending. Nah, you gotta be fucking kidding with me. Yeah, it is the fucking ending. For fuck's sake. You know what? Honestly, I'm gonna say it. Fuck it. I won't even put my headphones down. Because, yeah, I'm gonna just react to the next two episodes right after stopping the reaction. Well, after stopping this recording. Because, yeah. Jesus Christ. This little fuck. Oh, God. For once. I am fucking rooting for Rudy. Hopefully, he gets out of there and break this fucker's legs and arms. For real, though. Imagine going to this extent. To capture someone. To use them as your goddamn, as he said, uh, fucking slave. I won't say the other word. Because yeah, or, honestly I don't know if slave is also allowed by YouTube's terms of service. But still, it's better to keep it fucking low profile on this shit. For fuck's sake. But yeah man, this fucker is something else. Something else you need. And yeah. Next two episodes, and I'm finally be up to date, I guess. Uh, actually, for you, I'm gonna be one episode behind. Cause yeah, this. I'm currently recording this on the 6th of December, and this will be up probably next week, so maybe this reaction will be up by fucking what? Let's say the 15th of December, or maybe. Yeah, in two weeks' time, it will be up. So yeah, man. I'll still be behind one episode for you. It doesn't fucking matter. Anyway guys, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you did, smash the like button. If you still haven't done so, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hopefully you like the reaction. As usual, I have a Discord. Link down in the description. As well as a Twitch and a Twitter. And also, I'm very fucking sorry about my mic quality. I can't do shit about it. This is... As good as it can get, I can do better than this at all. I've tried, whatever I do, this fucking shit in front of me costs $20. So that's as far as, as I will get for this price. So yeah man, hopefully you guys can get over the goddamn quality of the audio. And still enjoy my reactions. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another reaction video. Bye bye.